Hello, I'm Abigail Jeffrey from Omaha Central High School. <laughs> people keep saying they are waiting for the zombie apocalypse. Well, people, it's already here. So hide down in your bunkers if that's your escape, but you're hiding from yourself. Pick up your chainsaws and machine guns, but the brothers and sisters are the zombies. We are the walking dead, walking through the same routine, kind of like sheep, except not because sheep at least have wool to offer. Our skin is already ripped and shredded by the insults that tear at our beings. Our minds are already lost. This is why we pick at the brains around us, trying to make sense of what is going on. We mumble and groan so that the ones listening can't make out our actual opinions. Man down, man down, he's been bit. Yeah, I know, he's been down since the moment his mommy handed him an iPad at the age of three, fixated on the images that mean nothing. Sent to school to learn the laws of physics, but what we are actually learning is how many times you can look at the clock hand before it moves to the next tick. How much skill you have at texting in class without getting caught. How many problems Mrs. Riley has with her marriage. That ain't learning, that's surviving. The streets are desolate. Everyone is hiding in the darkness. The only light visible is computer generated. What happened to our generation? Where we have an alternative definition for the word apple, it's not something you eat. In fact, it consumes you. You have a thought, tweet it. You have a picture, Instagram it. You have a story, Facebook it, just so long as you don't face me. Because this, this is our new reality. We've become so narcissistic, living in the age of the selfie. Tell me that's not apocalyptic. We sit in front of computer screens, shooting the dead people looking for brains, shooting ourselves in the back because this won't get us anywhere. Everyone's so excited about the beginning of the end. Sorry to disappoint, but it's not much of a thriller. We look to society for every answer. How skinny should I be? What clothes should I wear? But occasionally, you see a human, someone with a purpose, who knows if we wallow in destruction, we may never find redemption, who isn't hollowed out by the white noise of our existence, because the cemeteries are big enough for the masses, and our carcasses will suffice. And when the sun burns out, when the light bulbs flicker off, when the electricity stops running, the ones who have ignited a fire within themselves, those are the ones who will survive. 